Hello everyone, my name is Yasung, and this is going to be the very first episode of Fortress World. Um, this is going to be my first ever series, well, long-term series of episodes that I'm going to be uploading to the channel. And I hope everybody that is watching is excited and strapped in for a long road ahead because this is going to be, I don't know. This series is going to last until, you know, the end of season three, which is our, this is, um, this server is in its third iteration or third season. And I think I'm going to be making episodes for the entire length or well, as much as I can, depending on how things work in real life. And I think I'll be able to, um, do it. So, uh, so we're starting it today off with, um, starting out with our mansion. Our mansion build is underway. Uh, this is not my um, property, but my base. But my base is going to be planned over there. So, we're starting at Matt's base today is because, um, well, well, obviously this is a nice background to start at. And I was also sneaking around earlier last night trying to find a saddle. But I couldn't find a saddle anywhere because there was this really nice horse over there. I just wanted to find out how good it was. Fortunately, Matt doesn't have a saddle for some reason. So, yeah, so that's kind of unfortunate. But um, I wanted to show you, just look how beautiful these builds and admire how awesome Matt's building skills are. Um, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. And, you know, we had this trading hall back here once. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I didn't really have a plan for it. And I was originally going to plan out the trading hall to be some sort of, like, woodland mansion style. Lo and behold, with my lack of planning and foresight, it turned out to be nothing. So, lesson learned here is that you gotta be able to... Um, have a plan before you start building long big long-term projects that involves many variables like you know having many villagers in your build so you can spruce up the livelihood of your base i terraformed this and flattened out this part of this land it did not look like this before it was kind of rough here and i flattened it out and made a trading hall floor about 70 plus villagers which is like a lot of villagers uh the server mods were like well you can't have that many villagers because it's you're hog hoarding the mob cap and all that good stuff well not the mob cap but still nonetheless having 70 villagers around and having them all do different interactions increases the server lag so i didn't want to be a uh, kind of a person that would do that type of thing and not care since this is an smp realm and also it's fortress world guys it's fortress world it's for the strong and not for the weak. We're going to start building the mansion today, but it's going to take a bit. It's going to take around one week to f one week to two weeks at most. I do need a base. And right now, my starter home, you know, it's okay. But I would like to actually have a proper, nicely built home. So when I can get out of that nether portal, which will be moved. This is, that's a temporary location for the portal. I can look and I'll be like... Damn, that is one hell of a good looking house. I think we'll start going on that and shall we start on that right now? So the build that we're going to be working on today is a Carnegie Library showcase. Well, it was a design um, that was showcased by a YouTuber named Corrales. And he's a Java YouTuber, I believe, that, you know, he showcased uh, quite a few builds. And he's known for that type of stuff. And one of those builds, it was a YouTube video that was five years old, showcased um, a build from someone that submitted the, their design to him. It was a Carnegie Library build. So we're going to be using that design to build our uh, future home for ourselves. And I think it's going to turn out really nicely. And you should be able to see... Uh, pictures of the uh, of the design um, that I'm going to be using and so I'm actually using reference on my other computer that I have pulled up um, so let's get started shall we we're gonna have to actually get building material so we can line out what this actually is going to look like because I have no clue well I do I should have a clue right I should have a clue what's going on I can't find anything 
Uh, what am I gonna use? That's the problem. <laughs> Should be, uh, I mean, um, uh, I don't want to use the terracotta. I want to use something else. Ah, uh, what am I going to use? What am I going to use? Uh, nether brick blocks is not a good marker. You know, I used black and yellow markers to line out the uh, outline of the design, and I don't have any of that. I guess we're just going to go to the shopping district because I don't have any... I, I, I don't really want to use anything that, like the green terracotta and stuff. I, I would rather like to use proper marking blocks. Let's get to the shopping district real quick. Ow, what? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm a noob at PvP. PvE, more like it. Who made these? Who made these tunnels? And it just leads to absolutely nowhere. What is, where does this lead to? Oh, it's a portal. Someone built something here, and I don't know what, but it's something. All right, let's get back to shopping district. All right, I like this soul speed. It's real fine. It's mega fine. Oh, and here is the. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> oops, I uh, destroyed the pumpkin stem. Oh, and this is the uh, wonderful looking. If I know the right button. Th wow, that was really fast. Okay. That was fast. <laughs> that was very fast. This is the East Tunnel Lounge. East Tunnel is the best. East Tunnel, best tunnel. It looks nice. I don't know about you, but it looks nice. And thank you. Oh. Dang you. Dang you. Huh. All right. This is supposed to... Wow. That is really fast. Really, really fast. Okay, let's go back to Shopping District. All right, we're in shopping district, and let the shopping district load up. And load up, please. Please load for the episode. I don't need. I don't need the generation lag. Load up. Thank you. Now we can see the toasty tower. Oh yeah, toasty tower. Oh, he added iron bars and stuff. Let's look. Hmm, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, we were going to find some concrete. Yeah, and I totally just lost... What the heck? Oh, that's... You know, there should be more of these. Oh, wait, there is more of these. <laughs> Oops. Didn't know that, but nice to know. Let's go to the concrete shop. So how much concrete? Three stacks of diamond. We're going to need more than three stacks if we're going to mark out all those things. So let's get some more. And we're going to pull out some diamond. How much? Man, I can't do math for my life. So it's four diamonds. Yeah. So, two diamonds, and two diamonds, yeah, that's right, okay, wait, am I, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So those are our marker blocks, and I don't feel like using anything else. So we'll go, let's go back, let's go back to our base. Oh yeah, the camera, you know, me, Okay, now we're here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 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 yeah, we were here. Okay, cool. It's nighttime. Let's get to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Get to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Don't have the mobs come out because that's probably so annoying. Y'all are safe, right? Y'all are safe? Yeah, y'all are safe. That's good. So I put these beds here so they don't unlink and there's no such thing as a village here. And I fear that since Matt has a trading hall over there, around 120 blocks away, I don't want them merging over there. I don't want them having any idea of merging to Matt's village. So, oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oops, oops. Get me out of here. No, get me out. Good, cool. All right, I don't want them linking to Matt's village and messing everything up. Like, uh, so... Okay, let's get started on the build, shall we? We have, let's get started on the build. So it looks like it's gonna be four, it's gonna be 10 blocks, right? No, it's gonna be 11 blocks. So what's the center point of our village? I don't have any clue. Let's start by marking it out. Shh, boom, boom, boom. Oops. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop. Six. That's good. Very good. Dang you, Matt. Matt Ranger put up these trees so he doesn't see my ugly trading hall. And now my dimensions are now going to be so weird and as such. But I think we're going to be able to fit it in. Dang you, Matt. Just kidding, Matt. We're still friends. We're still friends, Matt. Um... Let's see, let's zoom out a little bit to the right. This is going to be a little more unexpected, but that's what I would think it would happen. All right, so we're outlining the property. Progress has been made as if like, as if like I didn't make any progress in the first place, but uh, don't let's, let's pretend I did. Okay, cool. So we're just going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Eight, nine, 10, 17. Okay. On to this side of the mansion property. The property will be going 26, 26 blocks that way. Yeah, 26 along this area. Uh, and it will be going all the way back and 26 on the other side. Let's start doing it. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, let me see if I'm counting this right. I just said 10 twice, and I'm not sure if it's actually 20 or not. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Okay, let's count one more time just to be sure, because you can never be... You can always be wrong with counting in Minecraft. Oh, so that's all 26. I've counted at least twice. We're going to do the other side. So in case we make a mistake, we'll be able to tell if we make a mistake or not. So we're gonna have to move all this stuff out. Dang it, I just wasted three instant damage potions on this cauldron. Uh, I need arrows. Let's go to our old base. Oh, chunks aren't loading. Ah, what the heck? Chunks aren't loading, what the heck? Load. What do I have to do? Sing praises to our almighty? Toasty Puma? die thank you I have forced labor sleeping oh oh no you don't and let's get back to our base So we're going 19 that way and 19 coming back here. And there's going to be a little bit of extension for the stairs coming down. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Yes. Okay. So we're going to quickly finish this up. All right. That's 19. That should be 19. We'll finish those extensions right now. All right, now we are finished marking out the entire plot. It's going to take a little bit. We're going to have to terraform this entire place out. Drain this swamp over here. Uh, move that. Yeah, we're going to have to terraform this entire place out. So in the next episode, we're going to take all that out that's behind me. And we're going to start laying down the foundation of our magnificent little mansion. I hope you guys are excited as I am for the second episode because we're gonna go right into building this thing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Fortress World. Have a good day.